Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about Grok uh, filter, which is most widely used in Logistics. Let's begin our session. So first, what is Grok filter? Grok filter is the filter which is used to parse the unstructured data, like any text data or any log data, into structured format like JSON. This can be used to parse the application log, any system log, any server log. Grok filter is, is based on Grok pattern. Grok pattern is nothing but a regular expressions. Grok filter having some default pattern. This is the link where we can find all out of the box Grok patterns. So let me open this. These are the core Grok patterns we can. We will discuss in separate video these things also. We will see practically all this. So for now, just remember the, there are default uh, Grok patterns available, and also there are few Grok patterns are available for Java application to parse the Java application log. Let me open so you can go back one directory back, and you will see the Java. So these are the patterns which can be used to parse the Java application. How our data would look like after parsing? You have this log data. And the Grok pattern I have used here, this. So you can use you can use more than one Grok pattern. So date and stamp, space, log label, as per your as per your input input data. So after the Grok pattern is applied, this would look like this. The data would look like this. How to use the Grok pattern? This is the syntax: percentage bracket pattern name which pattern we want to use which Grok pattern we want to use like you can take from here any name as per your requirement like java file so you can mention the java method so just you need to mention the java method there so here the name of the pattern and the name given to the match data so any data which will match this pattern this name would be assigned and the type which type you want to assign to this field and this type is the optional so you can also use like uh, till here only this you can ignore the type this is the one of the example of zero pattern you can use like this percentage bracket date stamp is the name of the pattern and the name given to the text which will match this pattern is the log date here we have not used the type so the default type is the string always so this is how you can use the Grok pattern now we discussed about what is Grok filter what, how we can use the Grok pattern now how to use Grok filter in logistic what is this this is the logistics configuration file in the filter component we will use the Grok filter so this is the syntax you need to write Grok bracket match message is basically field name which will work as the input to this so message field will be present in the event received by the log test that event would be sent from the file bit in our application so in that event message would be present and on that message this grok pattern would be applied this is how we can use the grok filter in my previous video on muted filter, I, I mentioned that these are the common operation which can be done by the any log, any filter available in the log test. That could be muted filter, CSV filter, that could be Grok filter as well. That's why I have mentioned here. So Grok filter can also perform these operations. Suppose you want to perform add field operation. You want to add extra field in the event. So you don't have to use the muted filter for that. In the Grok filter itself, you can write this add field and name of the field value of that. So that could be dynamic, dynamic also. Now, how you can test your Grok pattern? Grok dot app dot com. So here you can test your Grok pattern if that is working or not, as well as the Kivana. I have already started Kivana. So first start the elastic search and then kivana so here in the dev tools 
you can go in the div so click on the Xerox debugger and here you can enter your data let me show you one example how it works so suppose we have input like this okay what is this this is the log label so normally it present in the log so how you can write log label name of the pattern name given to that matched data so log type we can write here log you can give any name of your choice log type and the simulate so you can see now this field has been stored in the log type so similar way you can write suppose 1.2.3.4 so what is this this is IP address so how you can write the Xerox pattern for this like this we have a Xerox pattern available out of the box for IP address and you can write IP let me simulate you can see so in the next videos on Xerox pattern or Xerox filter we will discuss few important Xerox patterns how we can use in our application and also how we can create an application with the help of Xerox filter so that's it for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video